Number 12. Electron guns are used in X-ray tubes. The electrons are accelerated through a relatively large voltage and directed onto a metal target producing X-rays. Letter A. How many electrons per second strike the target if the current is 0.5 milliamps? So we know that the current flowing through a particular gun here, I guess, is going to be 0 0.500 milliamps. We know we need this in amps anyway, so just do the conversion. So it's going to be 0.5, just multiply that value times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, that's the value in amps. Now remember, an amp is the same thing as saying a coulomb per second, or the number of coulombs, or the amount of charge passing through a point per single second. Okay? So, if we know the current... Okay, and we want to find out then how many electrons are passing through per second. How do we do it? It might seem a little strange, but watch. Ready? I'm going to do this in terms of a uh, dimensional analysis problem. So I got 0 0.500 times 10 to the minus 3. Now we know this is amps, but the important insight is to remember that an amp is simply the number of coulombs per second. What I want to then find here, the units, look carefully at the question, it says how many electrons per single second or per second are passing through. So my desired unit here is going to be number of electrons per second. So if you notice here, what's changing? I have to somehow convert coulombs into number of electrons. The denominator is not changing at all. It's still seconds, so I don't even care about that. I'm just thinking about how do I get from coulombs to number of electrons. And we've seen this now, right, several times. You have to remember that every single electron has a charge value of negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. Okay? What's important here, though, is the magnitude, not necessarily the sign. Right? So even though the electrons are negative, yes, you don't, you don't really need to plug in the negative sign when you're doing this because you're just trying to find the number. Okay? So, how do we set this up? So, we do it like this, 0 0.500 0 times 10 to the minus 3, times 10 to the minus 3, coulombs per second. I want to get rid of my coulombs so they go on the bottom. I want to solve for number of electrons so they go on the top. And I know the relationship, that for every one single electron, there will be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 units. Let me make that a little neater. 10 to the 19, negative 19 units of charge for that electron. I know it's negative, but again, it's the magnitude that is important. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by then 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And we get a value here of about 3. I, I, I'm not really sure why I wrote a 2. But a 3. 3.13, 3, I guess, if we round times 10 to the 15th number of electrons per second. Okay, and that takes care of then letter what is this a okay let's take a look now at letter uh, b so now it's saying uh what charge strikes the target okay so what amount of charge strikes the target in 0.75 seconds so we want to find q the charge all right we want to find uh, we know the time that it this you know gun is firing i guess 0 0.750 seconds and we want to know then uh, excuse, uh, excuse me, and we know the current, right? So current is I. Now remember, we already converted this into amps. So it's 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Remember, this is amps, or in other words, it's coulombs, the number of coulombs per second, or the amount of charge per second. You know, so if you know the num amount of charge per second, and you know the time over which that gun is firing this amount of charge, you can probably figure that out intuitively. You don't necessarily need a formula. How to find then the total number of, or the total amount of charge. If that's not the case, then just remember the formula that current is going to be equal to the change in the number of coulombs divided by the change in time. I'm going to solve this for the number uh, of coulombs, or essentially the charge. So I need to do a cross multiplication here between the current and the time. So it's just going to be the change in, in the number of coulombs is equal to the current multiplied by the change in time. In other words, it's just the coulombs times the current. Excuse me, in other words, it's just the coulombs equal the current, so 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 
times then the time over which that current is flowing, 0.75 seconds. And voila, we just plug it into the quackulator, right? So 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3, multiplied then by 0.75. And what do we get? So we get 3.75 times 10 to the minus 4th coulombs. And there's probably another way you could have figured that out as well, right? There's many ways to approach it. So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, your classmates might as well. Thank you so very much.